Blackboard includes a feature that allows you to create surveys. Surveys are very similar to quizzes or tests, but they do not have a correct answer for each question. You can set a survey where you can view the results by student, or you can view just the statistics. So for example, I've created a course survey for one of my classes, just so I could review what students thought about the class. Um, so it's a little bit more comprehensive of a survey than our normal CEEF process. To create a survey, I'm going to go into one of the content areas, go to Create Assessment, and select Survey. I do not have any created, so I'm going to click on Create. And this operates very similar in fashion to the quiz process. So I'll call it Example. This is my example survey. And Submit. Next, I'll create a question. So I'll do a true or, fa true or false. My question text. This course met my expectations. And submit. Next question, I'll do a essay, um, which the, go the goal of this would be to create a large text area. So, comments about course. Let's go to the bottom and click submit. And there we go. So now when I'm done, I'll click OK. I've got my survey created, so I'll select it and click Submit to deploy it. In the deployment area, make link available, yes. If I want to allow multiple attempts, I can do that. Course completion. Here's where I can select the status, as in, um, did the student take the test or not? And um, do I want to show their submitted answers? So I'll just say status. I'll show one at a time, but I'm not going to randomize the questions. Click submit. And my survey should be deployed. From a student's perspective, they'll click on the survey, click begin, and they'll be able to answer their questions. Question 2, save and submit. And now they've completed their survey. Next I'll take you to results of a survey that I have conducted so you can see how that works. So I'm within one of my courses now and I'm viewing the survey statistics. So here I can view the true-false questions and see what percent answered a question. Um, I can see for an essay question what their responses were, but it's not showing me who answered them. And I can go right down the list. So this allows me to display information if I want to display it to an entire class or review it myself um, just as a course survey where I'm not viewing it by student. And that concludes how to create a survey within Blackboard.